sister. Reading, sister. Sister. Hmm. Well, assuming this gourmet is just a cook, it will probably be an easy kill. Just be discreet. Alerting others will be the real threat. Stay safe. Back from your little vacation in Falkreath. So did you enjoy the sights? Sample the food? Kill the house, Carl? Will there ever come a time when the people of Skyrim no longer need our services? I think not. <laughs> well, that's sure to throw a branch into Falkreath's well-oiled political machine. Here's your payment. Well earned, as always. I hope the elf didn't give you too much trouble. I once got set on fire by a sorcerer. Nasty business, that. But I digress. Here's your payment. Hmm. Yes. Yes, I believe you are. Very well, then. You need to find and kill Safia, the captain of the pirate ship Red Wave. The ship travels the northern coast and sometimes isn't even in Skyrim at all. So you'll have to be patient. Good luck. Ah, yes. The pirate captain. A ruthless she-devil, by all accounts. Deadly with a blade. And let's not forget her crew. Loyal and bloodthirsty, the lot of them. This is my final contract, and certainly the most challenging. Be careful with this one, my friend. Hmm. I wouldn't worry too much about this Varane giving you the information you need. Give him a good scare, and he'll squawk like a hag raven. That said, if your attack on Varane is witnessed, those Markarth guards are going to be none too happy. Good luck, and try not to get yourself killed. So, the prodigal murderer returns. And the gourmet? So I gathered. It seems a certain orc has disappeared. Which means you not only killed the gourmet, but disposed of the body as well. Oh, you've got the writ of passage too, I see. Splendid. Splendid! Ah, and word has come in from Markarth that the Keep's cook has met an untimely demise. You performed your duties to the letter. <laughs> I was wrong about you. I see that now. Maybe we all were. Here's your payment, and a little something else as well, from me. Consider it my way of apologizing for being so damn curmudgeonly. It's called the Night Weaver's Band. I wore this for years. I want you to have it now. It'll give your magic and sneakiness some much-needed oomph. Now you'd better get a move on and see Astrid. It's time. Time for the final stage of this grand and glorious operation. Does death not come to us all? Is it not a certainty? I am therefore honored to be Doom's Herald to play some part in a being's inevitable end. Stay safe. So it's done. You've killed the Gourmet. And now, Titus Mead II is as good as dead. Oh, yes. And I've decided you will have the honor. <laughs> Look at you. So calm, so confident. 
I do believe you were born for this task. So let's begin. Go now to Castle Dower in Solitude. Present the Gourmet's writ of passage to the officer in charge, Commander Marrow. I'm sure you remember him. You'll gain unrestricted access to the kitchens, and then the Emperor. You're posing as a chef, so you'll be able to poison his meal rather easily. Here, take this. It's called Jaren Root. All it takes is one taste, and the effects are quite immediate. The Emperor will be serving Sithis before he even knows he's dead. Once Mead has been killed, escape through the upper door and across the bridge. I've arranged for it to be unguarded once the alarm is sounded. Now go, my friend. Go and fulfill your destiny as listener. It's a rare plant, found only on the island of Stros Mackay. It can be served like any vegetable, cut up, put in a salad, perhaps boiled in a stew. One taste will lead to nearly instant death, so don't even think about it. It took all the favors, bribes, and blackmails I could muster, but I've secured your exit out of the keep. Just follow my instructions, and the Dark Brotherhood will be back on top. All thanks to you, listener. Right then. Bring your coins. So Open many refuse to talk to us. They call us thieves and smug. Take a look. All this talk of dragons returning to the world makes me more than a little nervous. May your road lead you to warm sands. Moons protect us. I hope we do not encounter one of them on the road. I suppose if we do, we will find out just how fast each of us can run. As the saying goes, you do not need to be faster than a dragon.
beautiful baubles and gleaming gems. Over here. Ah, uh, just what you see here. Good journey, Marsh friend. If you're looking for anything to... For a fair price. Run the pump.
What can I do for you?
Hail companion. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Oh, what delight. Another charming customer. Finally. Unless we have specific business, I'm not interested. When I was a young rascal, I broke a man's arm with a single punch. Of course. I had a horseshoe hidden in my glove. Oh, what a delight. Another charming customer. Oh, let me just drop everything to help you. I don't mind, really. Hello, I'm Gizli, but you can just call me Erica's sister. Everyone does. Oh, if you're looking for a good attitude, go see the Bards. They'll fake it for you if nothing else. If you're looking for truth instead, see Noster. He's a good example of what life has to offer. And if you're just looking to feel good, go get some spiced wine from Yvette. But whatever you do, just leave me alone. We'll speak again later, if we must. Oh, what delight. Another charming customer. Unless we have specific business, I'm not interested. If you're heading to the Blue Palace, you... It's time for you to go.
Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Why, hello, here to buy. If you have to ask the price, you might be in the wrong store. Thank you for your patronage. We provide clothing for all of Solitude's most oh, influential what residents. Delight. But Another for you charming yes. customer. It's not an insult, just an observation. If I were walking around with a wound, I would want you to tell me to see a doctor. Your outfit is something of an open wound, where a tire.